Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome to our latest webcast that we're bringing you from Travel Weekly as part of our Roadmap to Recovery series. And I'm absolutely delighted to be joined today by Brent Hill, who is the Chief Executive of Tourism Fiji, and he's joining us from Fiji. So uh, it's a, a long way away and a totally different time zone. But how are you, Brent? I'm very well, Lucy. Thank you so much for having me. It's um. Uh, it is a very beautiful, typical Fijian uh, day today that we've had and, and just moving into the, the evening, I must admit I've been out enjoying the, the sunset, everything that uh, is beautiful about Fiji, so it's a nice part of the world to be talking to you from. Oh, well, I'm, I'm very jealous, but we'll get on to, uh, to, to more of that. But there's a reason you're here with us today, of course, because uh, Tourism Fiji uh, with British Airways, you're launching a fantastic new incentive for travel agents um, to win a trip of a lifetime. It, we, you know, it absolutely is that. So tell us a little bit about that for us, Brent. Yeah, so it's very exciting for us. We, we're working very closely with our good partners uh, at British Airways who uh, can fly a lot of, or who do fly a lot of uh, tourists across um, and connecting their coach, their partner with Fiji Airways. So we're looking to bring uh, agents across somewhere between October and December. Uh, there's going to be about eight uh, people in the group and they're coming across here to, to Fiji. We've got an incredible lineup of amazing island properties, uh, a beautiful mainland property. The agents get to you know, come over and spend, um, I think it's almost up to a week uh, here in Fiji exploring and really getting to understand what, what Fiji is all about. So, you know, I guess if you're into sort of cocktails and sand and sun and, you know, lazing about and massages and snorkeling, then this is probably uh, the trick for you. Um, so <laughs> I would definitely encourage people to have a crack at it. Oh, my goodness. It sounds amazing. And all the competition details of how you can enter are going to be on our competition page on Travel Weekly Online. So um, but we're going to whet people's appetites a bit more, really. We want to tell yeah. them a little bit more about Fiji so that they uh, can try and be in the running to be one of those lucky eight agents uh, on the trip and coming down to see you, Brent. Um, but before we do that, I just want to get an update, if I may, on the situation of you know, getting into Fiji, because I know you opened your borders on December the 1st. Um, that was for fully yeah. vaccinated uh, visitors who were coming from the travel partner countries of which the UK is one. So just explain that to us and just, you know, the, the current entry requirements, just if anything's changed at all. Yeah, look, so the, the good news with that is that, you know, a lot uh, even has changed from, from when we first opened, which is which is great. So you can thank the uh, Australians and the, and the uh, Americans who were the guinea pigs who came first. Um, so, so where we're at now, we're, we are quarantine free coming into uh, Fiji, which is great, as you mentioned, to be fully vaccinated. Um, to get into Fiji, all we need is a, is a rat test now. Um, so, you know, a very simple rat test that can be done at, you know, a pharmacy or, or a GP or something similar. Um, you come across to, to Fiji, um, you, it's quarantine free. So from the minute you get here, there's a whole bunch of activities that you can do uh, under what we call the Care Fiji Commitment which is just our program to keep everybody as safe as possible. Um, there's an in-country test at, at, at 48 hours, which is a, a rat test also. Uh, and then, of course, to go back, it just depends on, on your country of origin, what their requirements are uh, to get back home. So the good thing is here on the ground in, in Fiji, a lot of our um, uh, restrictions have all eased. So, you know, things like there's no curfew, there's no VAX check, there's no QR codes. So all of those things that were probably, you know, a bit of a hassle, um, you know, lots of paperwork, et cetera, that's all pretty much gone now. Um, and, you know, thank, thankfully, because everybody is so vaccinated and we're now moving into, you know, boosters, et cetera, we're, we're in a really good position. So, uh, look, from that perspective, getting to Fiji, I think that's probably the, the one thing that I would say to anybody to really emphasise is, uh, it's very, very simple um, to get here. Uh, you know, there isn't um, any of those, you know, old quarantine rules and and, and so on. Um, so it's a lot smoother and simpler and cheaper uh, to get to Fiji. Okay. All right. That's really good to hear. Now, you say it's simple to get there, but it uh, tell us exactly how, how long it takes to get there. Then you mentioned <laughs> British Airways and the code share partner Fiji Airways. So um, explain to, to, to people who don't know, uh, a little bit about how, how you get there. 
Yeah, so so uh, this T-shirt I'm proudly wearing is actually the um, the coordinates of, of Fiji. It's a it's a made by a local fashion designer. Um, so we're we're out here in the South Pacific. Um, you know, people might know uh, places like uh, Tonga and Vanuatu, uh, even Hawaii um, is a little bit further in the Pacific. But that's the part of the world that we that we are. So we're about three and a half hours from Sydney. Um, out into the deep blue uh, Pacific. So traditionally, if you're coming from, from the UK and, and Europe, you'll generally fly into Singapore. And then from Singapore, you can fly uh, into Fiji or um, you can fly to Australia, of course, now. And then from Australia, straight across uh, to, to Fiji. So, um, you know, with those, with Australia opening up as of Monday, um, that's probably the best option is to fly, you know, straight to Australia, um, potentially have a bit of time in Australia and then come to Fiji for that sort of, you know, paradise holiday at the end and, and, and then go back home. So uh, Fiji Airways normally um, under a normal schedule will fly direct to uh, Japan, Hong Kong, uh, Singapore and Los Angeles. So, you know, there's a number of different ways that you can get here. OK. And you mentioned there that people might do maybe a twin centre and combine Fiji with, you know, Sydney or Singapore for a few days. But how long yep. would they typically from the UK I'm talking about how long would they typically spend in Fiji itself yeah well the, like the good thing has been that um you know previously pre-COVID um you know we, we were getting Brits coming out here for typically about sort of that eight and a half uh days you know yeah. that long long enough that you could probably go to one or two places um so you could really you know get your feet in the sand and go and enjoy an island paradise and um, you know, that's the beautiful thing about Fiji. It's sort of one of those places I think you get to with all these plans of everything you want to do uh, and you realise that two days have gone by and you haven't really left the pool area and, and so on. But, you know, you just chill into it and then, um, you know, go out and explore and, and, and do what you want to do. So so about that sort of week to eight days is absolutely perfect. I definitely think it sounds perfect. Um, now, you mentioned if people like cocktails and the beach and the sea, it was right for them. But what kind of you know let just give us a profile of the kind of people who come to Fiji I mean like do you get lots of honeymooners I imagine or do you get families is it more couples give us an idea of who this would be a great destination for yeah there's certainly a lot of a lot of those I think that um you know for me if, if you go back you know through the early 2000s um overwater bureaus was the big luxury thing and I think uh from the 2020s we think that um luxury private islands is is the new the new thing that you've got to do and, and we've got those in spades so in Fiji we're made up of 333 islands so there's lots of really tiny ones and a few big ones um so that's that's the best part of Fiji is when you know you get to do an island stay uh, but also we we do get a lot of families here because Fijians are some of the most happy people on the planet and uh, they're amazing at looking after children so one thing we always say to people is, um, you know, come to Fiji with kids because the kids will just go off and do their thing. They get really well looked after and then you get, you know, to be able to do whatever you want. But also an emerging area that we've spent a lot of time on lately is, um, you know, people are up for a bit of adventure. You know, there's, there's amazing waterfalls, there's beautiful treks, um, you know, some really amazing diving that people can do. Um, and, and, and Fiji is... Uh, you know, such a underdeveloped place in, in that sort of sense. It's still really pure. You know, you've got a lot of rainforests. Um, like I was looking at some images the other day where uh, a freshwater waterfall cascades into the ocean. You know, there's oh, wow. very few places like that left in the world. So it is a beautiful place um, where you can do all that adventure and then come back to just luxury and get pampered at night. That sounds good, definitely. Now, you mentioned that Fijians are very happy people. And, of course, you have your campaign, don't you, Open for Happiness. Tell us about that. Yeah, it is. Look, I mean, it has to be a part of our brand because it really is um, at, the, at the core of, of, you know, what Fiji is all about. And, you know, perhaps people in the UK might have seen Fiji play rugby, and that's kind of like how we are as a people. Um, you know, there's a lot of flair. There's a lot of fun. It's a bit chaotic. It's... Um, uh, but there's a lot of noise and fun and joy, um, and that's what you get when you when you come to Fiji. It's it's an incredible place. So the campaign uh, we used um, 
uh, Rebel Wilson, who is well known in the UK, uh, in Australia and, and in New Zealand. Uh, and we brought her over and that, that campaign was essentially about her representative, I guess, of almost the whole world of having you know, gone through this, this thing where, you know, can we ever be happy again? Um, and she comes to, to BG and the whole, you know, spirit of BG just rolls over her, everyone yelling out Bula and saying hello. Um, so by the end of it, you know, she's just totally embraced BG. And, and, and that is exactly what happens. You know, it's very true to your experience. Um, you see people get off the plane. Uh, they might be feeling a little bit jaded. You know, work's been busy, whatever. And then someone like, you know, right there puts a big um, salu salu over you and, whisks you off to your resort it's hard not to just go okay I'm in paradise yeah. now you know surrender to the surrender to the happiness I think it sounds exactly. good exactly. um and and just to to ask you again a little bit about the I mean obviously it's going to cost a little bit to get there because it's a long way we get that and then you talked yeah. about the luxury and private islands but is it really just for luxury travelers or are there different accommodation types can you do it a little bit more if you if you're on a tighter budget no I think you know that's the thing that that's incredible here is that, you know, what I've found uh, come, coming to Fiji, I've been living here now for about seven months and been touring around lots of the resorts. So an example of that's like the Intercontinental or the, the Marriott, Mommy Bay. Um, you know, both of them are genuine five-star resorts, but you can you can do all-inclusive packages for um, Australian $1,000. So, you know, in, in UK pounds, that's even better. Yeah. Um, and that's for a week. And, and these properties are incredible. They're, you know, beachfront. You've got infinity pools, you know, amazing areas for people to relax in, kids' clubs, golf courses, Great. the whole thing. So, you know, very much if you're, you know, a mum and dad with a teenage kid from Manchester, well, you know, BD is, uh, has got something for you that fits exactly in that bracket of... Yeah. Um, you know, a, a price point that just isn't going to like, you know, wreck your wallet, but it's going to make you enjoy it and have fun. Brilliant. So there's definitely some of more affordable plus the the real sort of dream like options, it sounds like as well. For All sure. right. Yeah. Very, very good. And now you mentioned that adventure was something that you were perhaps look, looking to do more of. And what, what else is new that's coming up, Brent, that, you know, whether it's new properties or sort of new things to do? Yeah, that's true. There, look, there is um, some properties that are that have been uh, either completely, you know, renovated. So, um, some properties like I know there's lots of people that like to go to to properties they feel like they know. So, you know, the brand like Sheraton or Intercontinental or Sofitel, they're, they're all here in PG, which is which is great. Um, but then there's also some of those, you know, more private and more uh, exclusive ones. But I think. Um, one of the things that I'm really excited about, we have um, the only island beach club in the world. So you might be familiar with, you know, the beach clubs in Bali, for example, where they've got, you know, the pool areas and the big, um, you know, big decks and drinks and so on uh, on the beach. Well, we have some islands that the only thing that's on the island is a beach club. Is the boat? Wow. Um, yeah, so you get taken over there on a boat and you've got little cabanas and you've got food and drinks and everything. And then um, it's open uh, just recently, we have uh, what's called a, a floating platform. So basically it's a big platform, takes about 150 people, it's called Cloud Nine. And you get taken out there by boat. Um, they start the tunes up pretty early. It's generally for that sort of, you know, 20 year old through 50 year old, I guess, because, you know, I'm 44 and I love it. I gonna say, I'm, um, nearly out, I'm nearly out the bracket. I'm nearly out the, yeah. <laughs> it's no good. But, um, you know, you see all the beautiful people there, of course, but, you know, you can get your drinks and your wood oven pizza and, and you're on you're on the edge of the reef. You are literally floating Amazing. on the reef. So, you know, when you jump in, you can go snorkeling and so on. And and I trust me, when I go out there on cloud nine, I feel like um, you just you can't be anywhere else. It's, it's unbelievable. A great, it's a great name, isn't it? I mean, it, you are on cloud nine. I mean, it sounds amazing. Yeah. And do and you that, think our, our agent... Is. Will our agent winners maybe get to experience something like that when they when they come out later in the year? I could almost guarantee it. I mean, if you, if you come here and you don't go there, you're crazy. I mean, it's it's, um, it's very very special. So so I, I'm very much looking forward to. Hopefully, I'll get to go out there and and uh, and, and show them uh, myself because I, I love going out. It's beautiful. 
Okay. All right. Well, listen, uh, if I was an agent watching this, I'll be absolutely getting my name down to join your trip later in the year. So uh, as I said, all the details to uh, be in the running for a place on this fantastic trip to Fiji uh, with Tourism Fiji and British Airways and Fiji Airways uh, will be in the competitions page uh, on the website. So uh, on Travel Weekly, so have a look there. Uh, and also loads more coming up from you guys in the ne next couple of weeks in Travel Weekly uh, to find out a little bit more. Uh, but we just wanna thank you for your time today, Bren. It's brilliant to hear from you all the way. We're sorry we, it's dark because we can't see more of the island. We'll have to get you back on in the daytime so we can see out those windows. Yes, that's that's right. Yeah, so a big uh back level from us, which is thank you very much. Um, yeah, we, we really look forward to seeing more uh, Brits and Europeans across here in, in Fiji. We love welcoming you guys, and it's going to be fantastic to welcome these winners um, and, of course, all of your amazing guests over time. Brilliant. All right. Well, thanks for your time and best of luck. And we'll see you soon. Naka. Mate.